Fremantle have got the job done. The Dockers with a winning start to season 2020. But they're all smiles at Frio as they open their season with a win. swim in the ocean so it's all about recovery and um, we'll have some weights and then we'll do a bit of review on the Geelong game. Yes. Yes. A bit sore after yesterday's game it was um, yeah to Geelong's credit they they really took it up to us for the first kind of three quarters and um, to our girls credit we we grinded the game out and were able to run over the top in the last so yeah a few sore spots on the body this morning but um, nothing the, a jump in the ocean can't fix. A lot to look forward to. Obviously, the first ever derby will be, be really special for the AFLW. I think most importantly, um, playing against some old teammates will be pretty fun, um, and no, no doubt the band will be pretty hype. Fortunately, we um, pulled through really, really well, other than Kano. So just bits and pieces, you know, the usual knocks and bruises and a lot of doms going on. But other than that, we pulled through really well. We just have kind of what we would say a normal training preparation week. So we'll do a bit of a flush run. Everyone's getting a massage tonight, so that's great. Uh, tomorrow is our big session. So we'll get down to business um, Tuesday night and Thursday. Set pieces, set plays with a little bit of tempo, ready to go for Saturday. A new Western Derby rivalry begins this weekend at Matthew Pavlik. There should be plenty of feeling in the first IFLW clash between the Eagles and the Dockers. Oh, I'm pretty sure there will be, Tommy. You're right, the girls have been watching both clubs go at it for years, so I'm sure there'll be a bit of spice in this one. Yeah. Welcome to the Dandicott Rescue Helicopter Base. We're very happy to have you here. You, um, obviously, huge game. Western Derby, first one ever in WA. How are you feeling headed this weekend? Yeah, really looking forward to it. It's probably been a task keeping the girls focused for round one. Uh, it's natural that we're looking forward towards uh, round two and the, and the RAC Derby, but we're really looking forward to it now and ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, you, you want to win every single game uh, with the cutthroat competition. There's not many games with eight in the home and away season. and. The conference system, you've, every game's kind of a grand final, so you've got to put yourself in a position to, to win each game. But I think this one's got a little bit more on it, playing you know, some good mates and um, you want the bragging rights at the end of the day. I've got a little bit of an announcement to make. Oh. You're pregnant. <laughs> Uh, obviously, a pretty historic um, game on Saturday. Uh, Trent and I had the, I suppose, pleasure of uh, doing the press conference um, today for the Derby, the RAC Derby, uh, this weekend. Um, and I suppose the first time we ever played on Optus Stadium, um, one of my very good mates, one of my best mates, Lisa Webb, made her debut back, at, back on the week. <laughs> it was probably named Best On, and um, I think it's pretty iconic that Bianca Webb will be making her debut. Oh! Hi guys, 
stopped breathing for a minute. I couldn't believe it, almost teared up, but tried to stay strong in front of the girls, but oh, it was awesome. Hello, Mother. Hello, Nan. How are you? You didn't expect me to pick you no, up. No, I didn't. <laughs> are, you, are you sitting down? Yes. I'm playing the derby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, Nan's mom was uh, hysterical than most. Uh, she broke down straight away. I don't think she could keep on talking, but Pop's more cool, calm, and collected, and he saved Nan from it. <laughs> hey, Pop. Guess what? Hey, what's up? I'm playing what? the derby. I thought you were. Yeah. <laughs> cool, calm and collected, Pop. Cool, calm and collected? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's good. You just told your uh, the team, is he? Yeah, yeah, he told us. Well, there you go. Yeah, so Thursday night before Saturday's game, so just a light session, bit of, uh, bit of skills, bit of touch, a little bit of... Uh, structure work as well, so uh, the girls are all up and about. Webby's debuting this week. Uh, Bianca Webb, who uh, she had a great pre-season for us. She was second only behind Kiara Bowers and her work rate and GPS numbers, so she fully deserves her opportunity and the other girls are really pumped that she's in this week. Uh, and Leah Maskell's coming in for Mia Radcliffe, but that's just purely a, a match-up. Leah was unlucky around one to miss out, but uh, West Coast are a bit smaller in the forward line, so going that way. Uh, this week. So yeah, the girls are training really well tonight and uh, nice night for training as well. So can't wait for Saturday now. It's heartbreaking. It's always devastating to have a, an injury to that extent and to have another ACL is a real blow for us. And to be honest, it's a real blow for AFLW. Um, we continue to see this happening, whether it's our team or other teams. It's really a devastating injury and, um, yeah, just really sad and disappointed for Kano. Which is at okay, but um, almost 15 plus 12 equals 27. We're the tripod, and together we're united. We won't go into too much details about matchups tonight. You'll do a bit more on your lines, and I'll talk to a few uh, individuals as well. But as Jody said, really, it's about us what we can do. If we bring what we can do, then that would be more than enough. They get numbers to the contest, okay? So Precious, I'm going to show you a couple of clips of how hard they were, especially early last week. If you have seen the game, what did you guys notice? Came out of the blocks firing. Firing, okay? So it's really important that we are switched on from the start because their mids and their forwards work extremely hard to stop any flow that Collingwood had. Just be prepared for that, but it's not going to be all support for you. Have in mind, you could cop some abuse over the fence. And that's great, that's what footy is, it's really good. But just be aware that that's gonna happen. Yeah, I always catch a train, this is my uh, route and um, I wouldn't take anything different, yeah. Oh, it was unbelievable. It's a moment I'll never forget and I never want to. And I'd just like to say thank you for the club and players for all the support and encouragement they've given to Bianca. It's her second family. Go, go, go! So nervous, but really excited and I can't wait. It's going to be amazing. Alright, get in, sit in the middle. Alright, derby day. Here we go. Tripod. 
you want to look at my boots? <laughs> They're on fire. <laughs> They're lit. <laughs> They're lit. I want to say something. Okay. Whatever happens today, we got each other's back and we're sisters. Yeah. We're the tripods. Well, that's awkward. I'm married to you, so <laughs> that's weird. <laughs> yeah, sisters like. Well, you just have to ruin it. <laughs> One, two, three. Fire! <laughs> a year ago I met Webby and one thing I noticed is we threw her onto the wing at State 18's and she'd only been playing half forward and what I knew about her is she was cool, calm, collected and we all know she's had a massive tank, she's worked her ass off, she's done every training, she hasn't missed one and she couldn't be more prepared to play today so good luck on the wing, I'm sure you'll absolutely dominate but you've got 30 GFs out there to help you. Play. Derby number one. We are underway at Optus Stadium. Strong gets early hands on the football. Oh, 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 can you move oh, on, Mimi? Away they go. Good run from O'Sullivan. Oh, 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 Pressing hard as McDonald doesn't get there. Long ball back. Wants to go quickly. She does. That's okay to O'Sullivan. First score of the match keeps it low. Gabby O'Sullivan will go down in the history books. And Alton drop what she may have taken. Off the left, Stewart, the finish. It's brilliant. Off the left. That's from the top shelf. That's my friend. Forwards were a lot better and your positioning made it hard for them and we took the most opportunities. We're on 50 tackles on the world record pace on Friday. Our press has been amazing. Keep that up. We're ready to go with that. Everyone yep. know where they are? Yep. With Pat, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Ball gets past Hooker. Bowers with her. There's another tackle. Make that 16 for the afternoon. That's a good mark going back, Bowers. We know all about her courage. For the Dockers have done enough. It's in the book. AFLW Derby number one. And they've done it in emphatic fashion. A 45 point result in a game that was theirs from the get go. Absolutely amazing. I remember this forever, I think. It was so good. So stepping out on the field and just having everyone cheer for you wearing this jumper, it just it's just no better feeling. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling wrapped. I mean, we, got, we came out here and we wanted to get the four points and that's what we did and I think we made a statement that we're gonna be a hard team to beat. <laughs> awesome effort on the back of the ta 50 tackles in the first half of picking beer. AFLW record, so that's what set it all up. Thoroughly deserved, it was a lot harder off the school board. So I would have felt like that from the coach's box because you would have felt like that out there. But thoroughly deserved the win and a solid win over that, and we stuck together all day. What we needed to do. Free 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 